2 1 defeat here at Bamber Bridge this afternoon. Um, and again, very much of uh, two halves. We'll be having um, better than play in the first half, but um, second half, Bamber Bridge coming out on top and uh, a controversial moment in there as well. Yeah, I'll probably slightly disagree with you uh, with us being in control. Yeah, we had the spells. Um, I think Bamber had probably some some good chances as well, and, and they were always trying to get in behind us. Um, we could see some issues, we were getting pulled apart, but that's credit to Bamba because of the way they play. Um, real expansive game and you know the fact that Kelly had to come off with a dead leg and, and Priestley with illness and we were having to make two changes at half time and you know as the game panned out with the goals going against us at the times they did and the sending off, you know, it was backs against the wall stuff, but the lads have worked the socks off, I can't I can't say anything other than that. Um, you know, on a very, very good team, especially here. You know they've, they've found a way to win on the day. Yeah, and in that first half, chances perhaps were coming at a premium for both sides. Um, but Harrison Bead and once again finding space um, on the back of a set piece. Yeah, great finish. Um, obviously, route one, great flick by Roy. It was always quite dominant, um, and it was a good finish. So yeah, we were happy with that. But we had three clear opportunities again, just delaying pulling the trigger and, and Bamba getting back. So we were happy, although we weren't. I would say totally in control in the first half. We did create three very good opportunities and we did capitalise on that. Goals change games and we know what happened in the second half when they scored the first. Yeah, and uh, coming into the game as well, uh, you mentioned before the match about Barry Nathan Pond for Van Bridge um, in terms of the heights so of set piece or something that you perhaps uh, look to try and uh, target this afternoon. Yeah, not necessarily. We wanted to go toe to toe. We believe that you know we're a good football inside and we wanted to match them. Um, as it was, you know, we just didn't get our distances right. And, you know, it, it's it's what I would call us. For me, based on what we've been doing, we we, we were substandard today in that area. Um, you know, we just it just wasn't clicking, uh, and Bamba was certainly better than us. But as the game went on, we had to go more route one with the big lads up top because um, it was the only way we were going to get something out of the game of ten men. Um, but yeah, it, it, it is what it is on that one. And the equalising goal, um, disappointing in terms of how scrappy it was, and defensively, I'm sure a few things like to pick up. Yeah, yeah, and I can pick at it. We know where we've gone wrong. Um, it's not really going to get me anywhere. It's, you know, from our point of view, a real pull goal. Um, but again, you've, you've got to give Bamba credit because they've been pulling our back line around all afternoon. Um, and no matter how scrappy the goal was, Shane did really well. They've, they've managed to put it away. So, you know, sometimes that's how it gets and you've got to give them a bit of credit. Yeah, and then uh, a few minutes later, Bamba was getting a penalty and uh, sent it off for Harrison Bead as well. And it came on the back, really, um, that decision. Of a couple of challenges that were bookings that perhaps you know, shouldn't have been. Um, and then as well, the sort of bit of controversy in terms of whether he should have actually been sent off or not. Yeah, well, I said earlier, Bamba were probing in the first half with those intricate forward balls between the lines, um, particularly on our, our last back line. And that's how it come about. They found the, to throw the ball through between the two centre halves. Uh, one of ours has missed it, threw one on one, and Harrison's probably touched him. Probably not enough, but clever play by them. Um, ref's obviously given a penalty. And, yeah, I'm not too sure how the rules work. That was that many rules, you know, double jeopardy, whatever. Um, I seen a goal last night that Newcastle scored that I didn't think was offside, and it was. It's, you know, the referees called it, and we've got to accept it. Um, but yeah, we, we miss Harrison for a game now. Yeah, and uh, moving forward, obviously, a chance for uh, Lewis Ritson uh, back in the side and uh, getting a few minutes in. But um, for those, I suppose you've got to be careful with him and not throw him in perhaps for 90 minutes too early. Yeah, he's eager to, but you're right. Uh, for me, it's not a case of just throwing him in because we need to build him up. Uh, ultimately, we're going to have Harrison missing now, so it might be an opportunity there for him. We need to see what's in, in the tank for him next week. Uh, he's done really well again, um, so it's good. It's another step forward for him. Yeah, and a couple of other injuries picked up uh, throughout the match. Uh, Adam Gill going off at half time with three mm -hmm. secret believe him well. Um, well, hopefully, uh, forget him particularly, nothing too serious. Though. Yeah, well, he made a great tackle in the first half, and I think the kids just landed on his leg and he stayed down for a little bit. Half time interval, obviously, it's seized up, so he's, he's a massive player for us, as we know. He's been brilliant since he's come back. Um, you know, we could we could see second half how we, we missed him when he wasn't on the pitch, so yeah, fingers crossed it's not too long for him. Yeah, positive as well, though, seeing Sonny Fergus come back in again and the fourth change at half time, Priest are feeling unwell, but yeah. um, looking very comfortable at right back already. Yeah, it's good for him, it's going to take him to get going a little bit, you know, he'll be a little bit rusty. 
Um, just needs to find his way, he's been out that long. Uh, but yeah, it's another positive. We've got somebody who's done very, very well for us, well brought up member of the, of the club, uh, back involved again. So yeah, it's no time for Sonny to uh, to step up his fitness as well. Yeah, and just looking at that game against Marine uh, next week, um, we'll be in a decent bit of form, particularly at home. Um, and Duke Holford, that you can carry that on against uh, another outfit, again, uh, causes issues in the reverse fixture. Of course we do, another good team. Um, obviously they're, you know, they're probing for the playoffs. Um, but. You know, we we need to be better than what we were today. Um, I'm pretty sure we will be. We always have a reaction. Um, but yeah, another hard game, and you know the lads will be looking forward to it.